This video is on the three inch gun carrier in War Thunder, a British weaponized T box. And in this episode, we find out why this plane is called the Spitfire, and I find out what it was like during the Blitz. Hope you guys enjoy this intro, but I had a really cool dogfight. Right, what are you? The dogfight is what you are. My camera is not behaving very well right now. And he's out of steam. I keep turning. Take it. Oh, you got out my guns. What about get up? It's a difficult thing to dogfight this little guy. He's very roly. Happy just to get hits on. Slow him down a little bit. He is mashing his rudder. <laughs> yeah, look at that circle look. We got all the power though. Thanks. Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing the brick. Now, as I still have painful kidneys and other parts of my body I can't see on YouTube, we're going to be sticking with just having fun for now, and I hope you guys are still enjoying the short videos. Oh, and if you are enjoying them, please leave me a wee like if you wouldn't mind, and if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. This is the three inch gun carrier and yes it's built upon the Churchill chassis and for reasons unknown to anyone this thing doesn't have a turret instead it has 90 millimeters of armor. Not only does 90 millimeters of armor make it practically immune to things at its battle rating and below whenever you angle this thing it is an absolute nightmare to kill. Now it's definitely not unkillable things like the Zestaria will just zip right through this guy and some of the tank actually doesn't have a floor or a roof in certain areas that's not the tank's fault thank you gaijin but despite the obvious vehicles that can pen this thing for anything else it's pretty much a mobile bunker the gun itself is three inches as it states and it can pen 111 millimeters of armor with a solid shot shell so firepower wise it's pretty good too so it's got to be slow right it's got a good gun and good armor Nah, it's got 350 horsepower, it weighs just shy of 40 tons, and it actually moves not too bad. Where is the weakness on this thing? Not on the side, but from the back. An inch plate on the back is easily penetratable by anything, and because this thing doesn't traverse too well, you can sometimes get round behind it and just finish it off with one shot. Other than that though, a gigantic bomb or just an overpowered gun, there's really not much you can do. Now this thing is genuinely one of the most fun tanks to play in War Thunder so long as you get used to its really strange quirks. And I really mean it too, if you watch this video where I do, well, incredibly well in it, you'll learn how to angle this thing and really give your opponents a hard time at long range. I think that's enough talking about this thing, y'all get the idea. <laughs> Let's hop into battle. Okay, another huge up here. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is just how it's gonna be. This is 4 0. 97 points. Oof. I think these two people are holding hands. This <laughs> guy's name is called Do Me a Favor. Why can't I move through here? Can you go back into second gear? No, there we go. I'm sorry, that I don't know why I decided to do that. We're going up on the mountains. Oh, why are you so slow? We got a little bit of steam now, I guess. Ow. An enemy tried to do me like that. Something's on sea. 
That's not good news. You know what? We're actually kind of... After a wee while, we'll be angled enough to get shot even from the back sides, probably. I want to eat my own words in a minute. What are we facing? It's probably up in my... Something scary just crossed over. Yeah, here we go. It's a squeezy boy. And there's a KV-1 over there as well. It might even be a KV-1E. But where did that come from? Up here? It was. Ah, that wasn't very good. And another guy just tried to kill me there as well. What are you? Scary? Who's up, Emma? No, not as this scary. Stop. Whoa. He reloads pretty good, I think. Oh my god, we got so lucky there. <laughs> what? What just shot me here? 50 mil? Okay, he's dead too. <laughs> How am I still alive? <laughs> no. No, I'm getting shot from multiple sides now. Well, I see you. It's a Sweden. Well, you just took one to the chin right there. It's starting to reverse away. Did I get... No, no track. I don't know what crew member I hit, but... It, it didn't tell me. There's another thing on this hill near me. That's that's a friendly. Oh, that's the punch drops event thing. Oh, 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 oh. engine. There we go. That was my garbled noise whenever I don't know what to say. As in, Odd Boss EXE has stopped working. Yeah, yeah, hit me. No, you, you're a problem because he's got heat and he reloads really fast too. Oh, he can hit my giant forehead. Or can he? <gasps> Too low. Oh god. Each time one of those comes in, I'm getting more and more scared. <laughs> yes! The and then there's a... The, I seen another one moving down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see him. Yoink! Oh, good hit! He's gonna make it though. Yeah, he just wants to get out of there. Oh! The KV-1! Oh! <laughs> he got absolutely roasted. Nothing else sniping there. There goes that Panzer 4F1. Can I shoot this tree down? Or is it going to be too much of a task? Oh no, there we got it. Probably the only thing keeping me alive. Oh no, another guy has managed to sneak behind us. Go, go away. Oh dear. We're okay. I, I lost sight of him, of course. Oh no, he's driving down a hill, like a lunatic. Look at this guy. Unstoppable. <laughs> I, I say that as I hit his engine and set him on fire. But, all right, okay. You were a problem. Oh no. Oh no. What are you? Too low. You are assist. 
Oh, there's another one in the little valley. Is that a murder? So it's a Panzer 4 F2. I got his engine. To if he turns his gun on his side, we'll get a good clean shot on him. Never mind. Everything that could have killed us has not been facing us. That's just how these games go sometimes. This is honestly just my third game in this. Which I'm kind of thankful for. Oh wait. There's a guy in our spawn. That's okay. We're definitely winning this game. Oh, another one. I'm so tempted to shoot that plane. Where are you, dude? Let's have it. Nah, he's not. He's not coming to me. Right, that Panzer has decided to not push that direction. This is a world's first on Odd Boss's video. Someone left a spawn and decided that was not a good direction to go rather than just sit there or, or push that same direction regardless has decided to go the other way the world's most intelligent German main right there you, you love to see it I've got a feeling I can hit one of these things that's a stuka D as well I should have just went for it. Damn it. No chance. No, that one would have been much easier. I think the game was over. Oh, we almost got a double ace. Wait. What is... There's a lot of things shooting at me. Oh, that's... That's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. No. No, no, no. Keep, keep going down. No, my gun didn't fire. I think I was beyond my limits a little bit. That guy's still got another bomb. I'm sliding down the hill. He really wants to kill me, look. It was me specifically. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That dude was looking for me the entire time. The entire time. Well, there's a lot of planes here as the game's going to be over. The Stug 3 just killed his own Yak 9M. Are you coming in a head on? It's gonna crash. Yeah. Well, GG. That'll be that. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a up tier of sorts, but I'm not seeing anything that's up tiered. Cost us a hundred spawn points. That's a problem. That's a problem. If it's 3-7 and that ARL thing is here, we're in danger. Although... Okay, we got Sherman's with us. I'm gonna go wide. I think I did this last time I played this. Just go wide. We wanna be far away, right? Because our gun can do well at long range. But other people's guns against us don't do well at long range. Sherman's kinda scary. So, I gotta admit... This is a 76mm. 
that's not a 17 pounder. I imagine it was a 17 pounder though. It could fit. It definitely could fit. Right, here we go. The the scrim has commenced. Uh, someone just got set in fire. It was an M22. Why would you go wide in an M22? The whole idea with M22 rushing is to be like sneaky. Is that an Italian? Yeah, it is. But you got heat rounds, right? Right, I need this guy to shoot me, which he's 100% going to do. There it is. And then we do this back. Nothing happened because I hit overlapping armor. That there will probably go through it anyway, right? No, someone just shot him. He's reversing. Yeah, shoot me. Huh? That's the one. You tried to shoot my barrel? Right, engine cannon breach and horizontal drives out in that guy. Stop shooting my barrel. Oh, he is upset. Right. You now. With no breach or barrel or anything, he's dead. He's dead too. What are you? An M10. That would have been scary. Is that a Stuart coming? He can't pen me frontally. No, it's a Sherman. I'm very mistaken as to what is there. What the hell just hit me here? Because it went through. I am in trouble. That was a Sherman that shot me there. Can you just do the thing and shoot me front on? Come on. Oh, he's shooting smoke at me. Okay, fair enough. Right, come on, load. Oh, it's a 105 Sherman, that's right. Those things exist. Non pen. That's a. That's a French Sherman. Five second reload. I missed the. I missed the weak spot. That was a decent hit, but didn't go through. Right, is the other Sherman dead? No, there's, now there's an Italian thing coming, look. Go away. Put your... Oh, <laughs> I think that Italian thing's getting bombed here, you did. There's a lemon jello. Come on. Do the thing again. Come on. Shoot me again. Ah, that's the one. And... Yeet. Non-penetration. Hit it too low. We're gonna hit higher up. Will you stop shooting that? Barrel side to me? Okay, we got a lot of time now. That went through and did some more damage. Now we're repairing our track. There's another 105 Sherman coming. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Help me, Lago. He's a bad shot. God, 30 seconds for our track is a long time. That's an age, dude. No, what killed you? An AB43? Nah, am I still alive? This 105 Sherman's gonna shoot at me again. Or just, I'm not very well angled, but I'm trying to angle for two different areas. No, don't drive in front of me. Yes, murder. Help me. Four. One. And don't track me again. Okay, we've survived. I'm just gonna go cheap shot this man. The other Sherman is back too now, look. Ah, <laughs> oh, it went through. Did he shoot the back end of me? Yeah, okay. Right, big old Sherman needs to go. This man is a danger to everyone. Oh, my bomb flew off to the side. We're good. Um, no enemy aircraft. Why won't you take me the hair on? I'm just a, I'm just a lowly corsair. 
I think that's the guy we killed in the Sherman. Pretty certain. Oh, look at this guy coming up at me too. Damn, dude. Little I-16 or something. <laughs> He's rocketed me. <laughs> I think I shot his engine out. Oh, there goes Alexei. M16 just chopped him out friendly in half. That guy looks like an Italian Stuka. Yeah. <laughs> His Spanos did. Yeah. Yeah, I see you then. Thank you. Wait, what is... What is firing at us? A spaghetti wind. That A36 looked like he was getting awfully close to the ground for a second. I don't know if that thing's firing at me. Oh my god, I can't wait to learn new gun sounds. <laughs> this battle sounds so wimpy. Right, is that M16 firing? Spaghetti one shooting at me even though he's getting strafed by somebody else. There we go. Back to the higher, hopefully. You got a hole in your tank. <laughs> I've got a hole more than that, dude. For sure. Oh, we can still bring a Wellington. Oh, here we go. We don't have uh, any kills, really. Still got 3,000 odd points. <laughs> Wait, we definitely farmed enough to spawn a lot of planes. There goes the spaghetti wind. What's my bomb timer? Oh, I should have had it longer. It's an enemy plane coming in who's probably going to focus me. Sapotes. It's turning off right now, but only for right now. Hiya, dude. Was incredibly close there we're gonna go yoink this <laughs> i definitely should have had a longer delay on for damn sure right i've lost the engine to shrapnel god look at this thing turn dude it looks like your grandpa's greenhouse that someone weaponized oh there's a pote has gone too that I actually somehow crit hit while I was flying past. Oh, that's another 105 Sherman, right? We did not get a favourable BR here at all. <laughs> what are these lads shooting that on the cat? A T-34. A Churchill, a Panzer 3M, a Panzer 4F2 and two SVAs are all shooting a T-34 in the middle of the cap and can't kill him. Oh, there he goes. That took a considerable amount of time. My flying speed is low. Increased throttle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. We're, I'm going as fast as I can. Right, here we come for a landing. We don't need gear. <laughs> it's 109. It is barreling towards him. Can I get my rudder to work? There you can. There he's off the ground. <laughs> What's up, dude? His prop. His prop is spinning and not spinning at the same time. Look. Oh. <laughs> GG.
I am 100% serious. This is one of the most fun vehicles to play in War Thunder. You should definitely bring it out just to see how many shots you can actually bounce and even get enough spawn points to bring out three aircraft. <laughs> 3.0 used to be a complete treasure trove for UK vehicles when the Churchill 1 was 3.0. Now it's 3.3 for whatever reason. The Crusader's there as well at 3.0. The Archer, you've got the Valentine. There's a lot of fun things you can still bring out. This Spitfire Mark IIb is really nimble as well. And you've got the Wellington with the £4,000 bomb if you want to bring out that for some fun too. So there's a lot that you can do and you can also avoid the silly battle pass shenanigans that are going on right now as well. Now a huge thanks to all my patrons on Patreon for the financial support over there. You guys are awesome, especially the tier 3 people. That's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Thumpin' Bunny, Ian, Stoyan, Ollie Fox, Brahma Nation, Caleb White, Houndy, Gateway, Bilal, Trash Panda, Rige, Zema, Ken the Salt Lord, the Warpig, Firepiper, Sexy, Vanian, Yokbo, Justin Darlin, Shaf, Mr. Buzzwell, J. Tormey, Fearsome Scotsman, and the Tackle Guy. <laughs> and to everyone still here, you guys are awesome too. Thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.